OK, so we're going to have a look at a really nice way of finding the equation of a tangent to a polynomial at a given point without actually using any calculus whatsoever. So basically, the idea is you've got some polynomial. We'll work through this example to begin with f of x, our quartic polynomial, and at the point x equals 2. So all we need to do is basically we're going to use polynomial long division to divide f of x by x minus 2 all squared, which when you expand it, this is x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we'll dive straight into this example and it'll turn out that basically the remainder you get when you do the polynomial long division gives you the equation of the tangent at this point x equals 2. And we'll have a look into the theory behind it once we've done this first example. So let's just get set up. We're going to be dividing by x squared minus 4x plus 4. So that goes on the outside. And then we just need to copy out f of x into here. And then we're going to take away different multiples of this term so that it will match up. So the very first thing we do, this is degree 4, this is degree 2. So we need to multiply by some number times x squared so that it matches up with our x to the 4. So all we need to do is multiply by all of this by x squared. So we bank an x squared. We know that's going to be in the quotient. We get x squared times x squared gives x to the 4, and minus 4x cubed, and then plus 4x squared. And then working towards finding what the remainder is, we've got to take all of this away. So by design, your x to the 4 terms cancel, they disappear. And you're left with minus 5x cubed minus minus 4x cubed gives you a negative x cubed. 11 take away 4 gives you a plus 7x squared. And then minus 10x plus 8, they stay as they are. So now what we need to do is we need to multiply by some number times x, so that this will match up with our negative x cubed here. So you just need to multiply by negative x now. So you multiply all of these terms by negative x, you get negative x cubed plus 4x squared, and finally minus 4x. Then subtracting all of this, once again your x cubed terms cancel, and you're left with 7x squared minus 4x squared gives you 3x squared. Minus 10x minus minus 4x gives you minus 6x and then your plus 8 is unchanged. Okay, so now we've only got one more constant term we can add. What do we need to multiply by so that it matches up? We need to multiply by 3. You can see we'll get a linear term as our remainder. So you get 3x squared and then multiply this by 3, you get minus 12x. Then multiply the 4 by 3, you get plus 12. Subtract all of this x squared terms cancel, and you're left with minus 6x minus minus 12x gives you 6x, and 8 minus 12 gives you minus 4. You can verify using calculus, if you like, that the equation of the tangent at x equals 2 is indeed y equals 6x minus 4. So hopefully now you're suitably impressed with the technique, and we're ready to have a look at why this works. So it turns out that this will actually always work for any polynomial f of x, as long as it's of degree 2 or greater. And basically all we need to do for this technique is you divide this by x minus a all squared. And if I write f of x in quotient remainder form, so you get q of x multiplied by x minus a all squared plus some remainder term. What's really interesting here is you're dividing by a quadratic term, so the remainder is always at most degree 2 minus 1, so here your most general form of this is basically going to be linear, so we'll call it alpha x plus beta. So you're dividing a polynomial by a quadratic, your remainder is at most linear, so this is why we always get the equation of a straight line. And now all we need to do is we're going to verify that y equals r of x, so y equals alpha x plus beta, is indeed the equation of our tangent to f of x at x equals a. So if you imagine you've got your function f of x, and this is your point a, First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that alpha x plus beta has the correct gradient. And then all we need to do next is check that beta, our y-intercept, is suitably chosen so that we do indeed intersect the curve at this point a. So towards calculating the gradient, let's, first of all, we need to find, so we'll use some calculus here, so f dash of x, use the product rule here, you get q dash of x multiplied by x minus a or squared, and then plus when you differentiate this, you get a factor of 2, qx stays the same, and then x minus a just to the power of 1. And then when you differentiate r of x, remember this is just alpha x plus beta, so you just get plus alpha. 
And this is particularly nice now because we're interested in the derivative at a. We want to make sure that alpha x plus beta gives us the equation for tangent to a. So the derivative needs to be alpha when x equals a. You can see quite easily that this is the case because x minus a squared, this is equal to 0, x minus a, this is also equal to 0 when x is a. So what do we conclude? Well, we can conclude then that f dash of a is equal to alpha. And this tells us that alpha is the gradient of the tangent at a. So now all we need to do is we've verified that it's one of these lines, but we need to make sure that it does actually meet our curve f of x. So all we need to do here is we're going to substitute a into f of x, substitute it into r of x, hopefully these will match up. Okay, so f of a, using our nice quotient remainder form here, this is equal to q of a multiplied by a minus a, or squared, plus r of a. And you can see here you've got a minus a, or squared. Once again, this is just equal to zero, that's nice. So you can conclude then that f of a, this is equal to r of a, which is our alpha a plus beta. And therefore, your equation y equals alpha x plus beta does indeed intersect the curve. So this is the equation of the tangent at the point x equals 2. So there you go, with polynomial long division, it turns out it's not just useful for calculating nasty integrals, maybe something like this. It's also really useful for calculating the equation of a tangent to a polynomial.